Welcome back to Mr. Bowman Makes and the second in the series on how to build a house with make code in Minecraft education. If you were following along in the previous video, you will have built your foundation because in this video, we're gonna be using some of that code from the previous video to actually build our four walls. So we're going to be taking the build a row code from our previous video. We're going to take those different commands that we used in that and we're going to put those all into one single command that we can use over and over again and this is called a function. So once we've got that function working, we're then going to take our builder and we're going to rotate our builder by 90 degrees and we're going to repeat that process again so that we then create the four walls that we're going to need for our house. But Unfortunately, we're still only part way there because at the moment we've only got one single row of walls or one single block high of walls. So we're going to take our builder and then we're going to move our builder up by one and we're gonna repeat all of step two again and again and again as many times as we need to to create walls of varying heights. Once we've created those walls of varying heights, we're gonna look at how to actually take that wall that we've created and change it so that it's going to be a different type of block. So we'll add this to the code where we can actually choose what kind of block we want to have, whether it's cobblestone, whether it is spruce wood or oak wood planks. It can be any kind of block that you want and we're gonna see how to change that in Minecraft make code. So let's jump into Minecraft and have a look. All right, so here we are in Minecraft and we're gonna jump over to make code. Now, the first thing we're going to do is create a new function. And this function is kind of like a bucket where we can put code. So we're going to create a function called create line. And then we're also going to add a parameter. We can see the parameters up here. We're going to add a number parameter. And this is kind of like a variable, but it's only within the function that it can be used. So the parameter we're creating is line length. We're going to take our line code or our row code and we're going to drop that into our new function. And we're going to replace the length with line length. And then what we're going to do is come back to functions, take our new function that we've created and drop that back in where our row code used to be with the length. So the length that we type in will get dropped down into our create line function. The next thing we're going to do is create another function for our foundation code. So this one is going to be called create foundation and we're going to use the same number parameter for that as well and call that foundation length. We're then going to take all the code that we've got for our foundation and we're going to put that into our create foundation function. We're going to remove the length variables and put in the foundation length for each of those. Then we're going to remove our length variables and once all they're deleted, we're going to go back to our functions and take our create foundation function and put it into our house command. We go back to our variables and grab a length and then put that into our foundation function. Let's test that out, house five, and that's all working, great. So the next part of this, I'm just gonna clean up our code a little bit so that we have it in a little bit of a nicer order so we can get our next function ready to go. This next function is going to be for our walls. We're going to make a function called create walls and we're also going to use the same number parameter again to be able to add in the length of our walls. So wall length and done. Then what we're going to do is we're actually gonna take the function that we created for our line. So if we go back to functions and we go create line, we're gonna drag that into our walls. So this is gonna be the first part of our wall function and we're going to create a line of a particular length. Then we're going to come in and we're going to turn our builder to the left so that 90 degree turn that we remember in the presentation before. And we're going to repeat that whole code four times. So if we go back to our functions now and we go create walls and we bring that into our house command and we use our length to say how long the wall's gonna be. And let's test this out. So house and four. We can see now that the foundation is being built but the wall is being built right alongside it. So we need to cast our mind back into the mists of time. And remember that our agent ends up at the very end of our foundation. So we've got two issues. We've got to reset the agent and we've got to offset it vertically by one. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna offset it vertically first. So we're gonna go builder, 
builder move forward by one, but we're gonna change that to builder move up by one. So it's offset vertically. And we're now going to reset the position of the builder. So we're gonna do that by going back to our builder and going to the builder set origin. And we're gonna put that right back at the start so that this is gonna be the builder's origin point in our code. And then when it comes to creating the walls, I'm going to be able to build a teleport to origin when it comes to the walls so that it resets our position back to where we started. So let's try that. So we've got house four. And that's created a wall on top, but we've got this extra one. And that's because when we go to create our line, our coding bot ends up off of the block by one because we're moving forward. So all we need to do to fix that is to go back to our builder and instead of having it off the block, we're just going to move it back onto the block with a back move back by one and let's test that again so house and four and it's created it with the same length as the foundation for the walls this is a bit of an optional extra what I'm doing here is I'm just going to do the build a teleport to command but rather than have it teleport directly to my location I'm going to offset it by half the length and half the width so that I'm in the center of anything that's being built. I'm going to add a new parameter the house command and this parameter is going to be called height and I'm then going to also add a new parameter to the function and this one is going to take in that height to our wall function. So this is going to allow us to change the height of the wall that we create. So I'm going to loop through that now with a repeat. And I'm going to take all of my wall code and bring that into the repeat and then drag that back into my create walls. And use the wall height to repeat that by a certain amount. And then I'm going to take my variable that I've created and drop that into the height. And let's test this out. Okay, so house and three, I think will be good. All right, so we've now got our walls being created of different heights, but we've got a massive blank cobblestone wall and we wanna switch that up a bit. So what we're gonna do now is start working with some if statements. But in order to do that, we need a text parameter that we can use for an if statement. And we're gonna call that text parameter block type. So this now adds a little bit of text to each of the functions that has the create line. We're going to go to get our if statement. And this if statement is going to allow us to change which block we actually create when we go to create our blocks. So I'm going to drag down my block and I'm going to duplicate that. And then I'm going to place that into the if else. And I'm going to change that to the wood block and bring that back in. Now, here we have a true or false check. And so we need to grab our equals comparison and we're gonna drop both of these into our true false check. And we're checking whether the wood block is equal to a particular text. So we're gonna add some text in in a sec. Now this is gonna give us an error because we've got block type equal zero, but our block type is actually a text parameter, not a number parameter. So we can't mix these different parameters, text and numbers. So what we've got to do is go to the text tab and drag in an empty text bubble. And we're going to duplicate that into both of these. And then once we've done that, we can then change our block type to equal a particular text. So in this case, it's going to be stone for the place cobblestone and wood for placing the wood block. And so each time the block type is checked, if it's equal to stone, it'll do stone. If it's equal to wood, it will do wood. And the way that we set that is down in our call create line. And we're gonna change this one to stone for the foundation. And then we're going to change the create line for our walls to wood. So this will check and the if statement will run each time we do our function. So house six, three, we're testing that and we've got our stone foundation and our wood walls. So congratulations, if you've been following along, you've built your foundation and now you've also built your four walls. So in video number three up next, we're gonna be looking at how to build a spiral roof or a stepped roof to put on top of our house. So like and subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.